pictographic description of igneous and metamorphic rocks with Hardledge. Hardledge system optimizes the workflow for petrographic characterization of igneous and metamorphic rocks. In this chapter, you will learn to start the new description and to perform macroscopic and microscopic analysis with Hardledge. To start a new description, click on the New Description toolbar New Description icon. Select between igneous rock and metamorphic rock. The identification screen will be shown. Filling the description name field is mandatory. To save the new description, click on the Save icon of the toolbar. Date on the location of the sample can be informed. The field Important Observations is a text annotation space where it can be summarized the most important features observed in the sample, including classification, major textural characteristics, as well as primary and secondary processes and constituents. To include photos in the new description, click on Images button in the right corner of the screen identification. Click the Import button and locate the image file on your computer. Select the desired image and click Attach. A window will open, where viewing the imported image will be necessary to define the purpose of the photo. You can add multiple purposes. Click OK. The imported image can be exported, removed or edited. Previous observations on the image can be changed. To edit a photo, use the Edit tool. Using this tool, you can create an arrow, draw a shape, add a text, add a label, or view the subtitle. In texture and structure, microscopy, it can be informed the main structures and their size, the crystal's granularity and relative size, including the crystallinity, the range of crystal sizes, the main single modal size, and other modal sizes. 1. For example, clicking on the list of structures, select a structure from the list and insert its dimensions. 2. Clicking on granularity, select the desired option. 3. In relative crystal size, click on the desired option. 4. In crystal size, click on the list of sizes, select the desired size and type the dimensions. Clicking on the tablet icon, a table of crystal scales is shown. 5. In crystallinity, select the desired crystallinity degree. 6. In main single size mode, select the mode size of the crystals. In case of bimodal samples, select the second and third mode size. 7. In crystal fragment shape, choose the desired perfection of crystal shapes and the tridimensional shape. 8. In Texture, choose the main single texture. It's possible to add up to six different textures. For the macroscopic description of the sample, go to the main menu Analysis and then click on the item Macroscopic Description. In Macroscopic Description, you can enter the most important structures using the available list, as well as their respective scales. You can select up to three types of structures in the macroscopic description. In granularity, it can be informed if the crystals are visible or not macroscopically. In relative crystal size, it can be informed if the crystals are or not of the same size. In crystal size, the crystallinity, the only or main modal size of the crystals, as well as a second modal size, can be informed. To insert the sample color, click on Color and select the desired AGI Rock Color Chart code or type the name of the color in the text field. You can select two colors. In Perfection of Crystal Shapes, inform the macroscopic evaluation of the predominant degree of crystal shape perfection. In Main Tridimensional Crystal or Fragment Shape, inform the predominant form of crystals or fragments that constitute the rock. You can also inform the second most important shape occurring. In Texture, inform the predominant texture and the second and third most important textures occurring on the rock. For more information, visit 
www.endeeper.com.